It is now time to take a look at the top Seahawks on defense that could be cut. That is could be cut, not should be cut, not will be cut for all you sweet YouTube commenters out there. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at my list. We've got safety Cam Chancellor, cornerback Byron Maxwell, linebacker KJ Wright, and safety Earl Thomas. So we'll first start with Cam Chancellor. Now this is an easy one solely because we know he unfortunately suffered a career threatening neck injury last season. So the thing with Chancellor though, the Seahawks can't cut him this season because of the terms in his contract regarding injury guarantee. But what they can do is place him on the physically unable to perform list this season. And then in 2019, they can prepare to part ways with the three year extension Chancellor signed back in 2017. But for right now, it is completely up to Chancellor and his health, obviously, on if he will be able to continue playing football. If Chancellor is willingly retires, it would be free up, it would free up a good amount of cap space for Seattle, actually. I mentioned in the last Seahawks report that Chancellor is due to have a follow-up medical scan with doctors this upcoming month. So at this point, it is just a matter of time and when we find out, find out if he can continue to be a member of this team or not. Now, before we check out why Byron Maxwell could be cut, we have a word from our sponsor at Man Crates. Man Crates, awesome gifts for men in real wooden crates wrapped in a cocoon of duct tape or housed in ammo cans that are virtually indestructible. Some gifts he'll get to assemble himself. Some gifts you'll beg him to share. And some gifts are sealed inside layers of rock solid concrete. Gifts guys love from grilling gear to old school video games and more. Man Crates, awesome gifts for men. So next guy on my list is cornerback Byron Maxwell. So the Seahawks were certain on bringing him back for at least one more year to add some much needed veteran experience since we are stacked with rookies at corner. Now Maxwell's first task is to try and keep his job during training camp, which I likely foresee happening since rookie Trey Flowers will need some time to adjust to the cornerback position and taking the starting job will also be a huge challenge. Now Maxwell had a decent 2017 campaign with 39 tackles, one interception and two forced fumbles. For right now, Maxwell has been one of the many veterans to not show up to OTAs, but at this moment, it is looking like he will be starting at right corner while Shaquille Griffin will actually be heading over to the, to the left in replace of Richard Sherman. Moving on, we've got linebacker K.J. Wright. He is set to become a free agent in 2019. He has constantly been overlooked on this defense and just really getting some national recognition. He, his coverage skills make up for the fact that he's not a pass rushing outside linebacker and he also complements Bobby Wagner well. So a reason that could have us believe that Wright may be heading out of Seattle is that the Seahawks, one, drafted Shaquem Griffin and two, signed Barkevius Mingo to a two-year deal. So the Seahawks have a young and cheapish linebacking corp and Wagner is up for a new contract after the 2019 season. So the question remains, will the Seahawks be able to come up with the funds to keep Wright, who is making around $8 million this season? So he would probably be looking for something close or more than that for a contract extension. But will Seattle think he's worth it? After this season, it will be more clear. And lastly, we have safety Earl Thomas. We all know what's going on with Thomas as of lately, but what we obviously don't know is his future with Seattle. That is why he is on this list. Thomas wants a new contract, but do the Seahawks even have the money that Thomas wants along with big contracts for Wagner and Russell Wilson? We're bound to find out soon, but he was on the trade market for a reason, you guys. For the Seahawks, it will be close to impossible to replace Thomas's talent. But like we said earlier in this show, the Seahawks are reportedly not even considering a new contract for Thomas, and they're confident Thomas will not stage a holdout. But can you blame him? As of one of the best safeties in the league, making 8.5 mil, he wants to be paid bigger bucks, like the top guy at the safety position in the league, Chiefs Eric Berry, who is pulling in $14 million. But 12s, before we sign off, I want to know from you, which Seahawks defender do you think will be cut? Go ahead and get your predictions and comments in the section below, or go ahead and send me a message on Instagram at Jordan Giorgio and let me know what you think. But that was, your, that was your Seattle Seahawks report. Go ahead and follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Jordan Giorgio. Until next time, you guys, I'll see ya.